Hello, today we're going to take a look at this box of cameras that I just bought for $20. I got it uh, from a uh, looking for cameras post that I put up on Facebook. I haven't really looked through this box yet, so I'm going to look through it now and see what it contains and what works and what doesn't. So. First we have this Minolta pocket out the back here, I guess it's a 110 camera. Yes, uh, it is a Minolta pocket out of pack 230. I've never seen one of these before. Nothing special, of course, but see if it works. Ah, I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. That's not why I bought it. Um, let's see what we have more. Here we have some kind of case. Let's see. What's in here? <laughs> it's kind of hard to open with. Okay, apparently it is a Argus corrector lens in not so good condition. I don't really know why this is in the box. Let's take something more interesting out of the box here. We have a Pentax Spotmatic F. So I saw that it was a Spotmatic in the deal, but I didn't know what which model it was. I don't think I have the model F yet, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I actually don't know what lens it is on. You couldn't really see in the, in the picture, so. But first, let's see if the camera works. Hmm, maybe not. <laughs> I'm happy that it wasn't so expensive. <laughs> uh, well, maybe. No, it seems like the mirror is locking up. Probably not that hard to fix though. Either way, I have like a million of these already, so it's just cool to have yet another model, even though it might not work. So let's see what lens this is. It's a Takuma, I guess, but... Oh, it is the 1.4. Yes! Wow, okay. I already have this lens, but... Of course these go for quite a bit of money. Seems to work perfectly. I almost never find 1.4 lenses. So that I'm really happy with that. Let's continue looking. Maybe one of these lenses here. So you took Kina. Um, quite a big lens with a filter on it, a skylight filter. It is a Tokina macro zoom, thirty-five to one hundred five. Don't have many in that range. So 3.5. I guess M42 screw mount. Yes, and it seems to be working. So that's kind of cool. Um, I do not have this lens since before, so that's nice. I mean, obviously, I've already gotten my $20 warfare. Let's continue with this here. I wonder what this can be. Could be um, probably some lens hood or something. No, it is one of these. Um, what? No, actually, I don't really know what this is. Wait. What? Oh my god! 
What is this? What? What? Fish attack my wow! Oh my god! Like this, I did not expect this. What? I have never seen this. That's amazing. I thought this was going to be some lens suit or something. I wonder how much this is worth. I don't know, maybe it's not worth that much, but I mean, this is amazing. Wow, okay, wow, totally unexpected, like, wow. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been this surprised by finding something in, maybe I'm overreacting, but wow, I did not expect that. Um, let's take this here. Uh, this is obviously the flash for the, I guess, broken... Uh, auto pack camera here. Let's see if it fits on here. Yes, it does, of course. Here we have it. It's quite long <laughs> with this flash on here. Obviously, I'm never going to use this, but it's, it's kind of cool to have in the collection. Um, next, we have some flashes here. I don't really collect flashes, but this one is kind of unique. Um, very strange design on this here. Toshiba ES7. Hmm, I mean, this is kind of unique enough for me to keep it. Usually I just throw away flashes or give them away. And there's also another flash here. It is a brown flash. This one is kind of a bit more generic, but kind of cool anyways. Um, not really. <laughs> Next, we have a solid gore lens here. Let's see what kind of lens this is. I think this one was visible in the in the uh, picture she sent me. Uh, she uh, like uh, she sent the, the picture for like a few months ago, uh, but she lived a, a bit too far away for me to like bother going all the way there for just on cameras. So I said. Uh, to her that she would let me know if she was going heading my way and she was this now so I'm very happy with this so far uh, this seems to be a not a solid core as the case would suggest this is a Shinon 20mm 2.8 I have a lot of these already like maybe not exactly this model but very similar ones I have already, so this isn't really anything special, but it seems to work and it's in pretty good condition. Focus seems a bit stiff, but uh, uh, yeah, very interesting, but yeah, not really. <laughs> Another lens cap there, I guess I could put that on, no. I don't know. Okay, let's take a camera. Uh, this is a Topcon. Being in the picture, like it was an E something, E E one. Don't remember exactly. I don't think I've seen this model before. Uh, no, it was not that. Uh, it's a. What does it say? I see one auto. Okay. Uh, let's take it out of the case. By the way, I see on the end of here, it seems to be a part of a, one of those flash cubes. Um, let's see if we can take it out of the case. Wait. It's kind of stuck in the case. The case is very sticky. Okay, let's take off the lens here. Seems to be. Is it? Is it? A... What? Wait, what? What is this? I thought. Okay, it's some. Oh yeah, sure. Top gun is a bayonet mount. I was thinking that it was, it was going to be M42, but nope. Okay, this is kind of strange. <laughs> okay, I hope this camera works. Yes. Seems to be working. Let's try a 
and slow restructure speed. No. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it needs a battery for slow speeds. Either way, like I'm already happy with this purchase. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that shutter if if maybe it needs battery to operate on all shutter speeds or what it could be. But uh, either way, I really like this camera either and if it might not work, I'm not sure. I have to look into that. But uh, let's look at the lenses because of course I have... Huh, wait a second. Nope, I had never seen this mount before. My other top cone cameras, my RE1 or whatever it's called, that has something very similar to a exact amount. So I don't really know what this is. Uh, but we have a high top core apparently, 50mm to f2. Let's see, how would you... Maybe... Yeah... That's kind of where the aperture is on the camera, like kind of like the uh, Canon um, e EX Auto or whatever it's called. Um, and like yeah, Retina Reflex and what is it called? The uh, Voigtlander Vitomatic, whatever that's called. But uh, yeah, so I don't really know. I can't really check if the aperture works right now, but. I guess I can put it on the camera. So let's see if I put it on F16. No, I don't know really, but... Uh, Kinda of cool anyways, let's see the last lenses, I think at least these are top -con lenses as well. Uh, and yeah, I really, I've never seen this kind of lens where the bayonet is like it's kind of reversed, I guess. But yeah, here we have a wide angle, 35, 3.5, it's a UV top core apparently. I'm gonna be honest, I've never heard about this model uh, of top core before and a tele lens. So that's really cool. I like to have like at least one normal, one wide angle and one telephoto for each mount. So it's good that all three were included here. 135 f4, UV top core. Uh, last lens here seems to be a telephoto. Hmm, I, I like I don't really remember if this uh, was featured in the uh, picture I think yeah I think but I don't remember what it was really uh, let's see take out this massive lens here uh, you know with this kind of ring I would assume either Shinon or Soligor yeah, it's a Shinon 300 millimeter 4.5 my longest Telephoto lens is a 400 millimeter, but this like is really heavy. Let's see, is the I guess it's M42, right? Yeah. Okay, last and like the reason I really was interested in this is this last camera here. But in the box here also a flash cable. Here, uh, the Pentax MESE speci Special Edition. Uh, the lens seems to be a 51.7, which I already have. Probably will keep it on either way. I have like five Nikon 50mm 1.8. Uh, I have a very hard time selling camera medicine lenses, even if I already have them. Um, Lens. Let's see if it works. Seems to be working perfectly. Nice. I really like these lenses actually. And the camera. I maybe these need batteries to work actually. But these like 
really often have the mirror latch lever uh, issue. Uh, I have two at least that have that issue. But this one does not. Very happy to see that. I don't know if the electronics work, but uh, I'll find that out sooner or later. Super cool, you know, with this limited edition, uh, or special edition uh, leatherette here. Super cool. So yeah, uh, of course, I would say that I'm most happy for the MESC and this pancake fans. I mean, uh, uh, I mean uh, fish islands that I have had, like I have absolutely no clue that this was included. Uh, so thanks for watching. If you have any video that you would like to see, some tutorial or something, just let me know. I have a lot of cameras, so chances are I have the camera you would want a tutorial for. Thanks for watching again and see you in the next video, which probably will come out in like five years. Mm.